The trim's not good. The trim's really not good. The trim's a disaster. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all enjoyed that little intro with uh, the pandemic at the moment. I assume all of us are struggling from uh, some dead trims and I'm struggling equally as bad if not more so than a lot of other people. This uh, tragedy at the moment really does need to get sorted out as soon as possible. Uh, but following on from my recent video on Ajax, I'm going to be looking at some of the players, some of the young players who are going to be helping us try and achieve the unofficial treble with the Europa League, the Eredivisie and the KNVB Cup. Now we have just been drawn against Roma in the quarterfinals of the Europa League and it's going to be a difficult one but if you are a Roma fan watching this just know that you are going down. Before we get into this video, if you just ignore the trim, I should just say to like and subscribe as always. It always helps me out. I love seeing fellow Ajax fans and just fellow football fans commenting down below. So always put your thoughts down below in the comments. And of course, give it the big thumbs up for me. The first young player that I want to look at, and I think a lot of Ajax fans will agree with me here, is Yuri and Timber. A player that has really developed into an exciting right back, centre back. Uh, he's shown his versatility in both positions. I think for me, it's really hard to tell which is his favourite position because he's looked really, really good in both positions. A comfortable ball-playing defender, uh, able to sort of push forward and uh, sort of build the counter-attacks and build the attack from himself as a central defender, as well as Sandro Martinez. Both of them have been warriors at the back, but been really good sort of building the play from, from the defensive uh, parts of the pitch. Uh, Martinez, another player that I'll be looking at later on in this video. Again, another one that I think a lot of Ajax fans will agree with. Uh, they've really taken over the defensive roles earlier on in the season. Per Schurz and Dali Blind were the two players that were uh, sort of favoured by the manager in in that position. But uh, sort of since the turn of the year, these two boys have been perfect. They've really been instrumental into. Uh, the unbeaten run that we've got at the moment. Haven't lost a game since the 9th of December against Atalanta in the Champions League. And at the age of 19 years old, Yuri and Timber is the future. Where hopefully, from an Ajax perspective, he'll be playing for many years for Ajax. But knowing the way it goes, uh, we don't know how long he's going to be here for with the way that he's rapidly improving and rapidly uh, developing. Yuri and Timber, certainly for those who don't know much about Ajax, is a player that I highly recommend that you keep an eye out on for the rest of the season going forward. Now, I should just say that these uh, players are in no particular order in terms of uh, one being more exciting than the other. These are just the five players that I've picked out uh, for those who don't know too much about Ajax uh, to keep an eye out on. With our incredible recruitment and uh, sort of academy process, there's so many players coming through with each and every year. It's so exciting as an Ajax fan to keep an eye out on just the sort of new names that are going to be coming through into the team, giving debuts uh, to young players. It's, it seems like every other week, but this one sort of following on from Yuri and Timber is the Brazilian Anthony uh, sort of joining from Sao Paulo, being mentored by another Ajax player in uh, David Neres. The Brazilian has scored eight goals and assisted eight goals. This is before the uh, Ado Den Haag game today, uh, but he scored and assisted eight goals each in uh, 24 appearances this season. I think for his first campaign in uh, European football, he's been absolutely superb. He's taken the Eredivisie by storm. I think he's settled off a little bit since his uh, incredible start to the season, uh, but he's really settling in the perfectly I think with a year or two more here at the club he'll be uh, sort of one of the sort of household names in European football hopefully uh, I think it's sad to say that he may be one of those who goes on to uh, sort of bigger European clubs obviously I hope that he stays with us and has a successful career with us taking us to the Champions League but who knows how likely that's going to be but um, no Anthony is a a really impressive player. The only thing I think, and I think a lot of people would agree, is that I'd like to see him use his right foot a lot. Being a right winger, he is um, very successful at cutting in on the left-hand side, curling shots in. That is almost trademark at this point. Uh, but if he can start to sort of learn to use his right foot and be equally as effective with his right foot as, as his left, then uh, Anthony is definitely one of those players who will be on the rise in sort of uh, European ranks. Uh, another uh, really exciting Brazilian talent who is only going to be on the rise. He is a fan favourite of the club. I love him already and I know that many other Ajax fans do too. 
And now sort of going on from Anthony is another player that we signed in last summer is Mohamed Kourouz. Now, if you watch my previous Ajax video, you'll see that you'll see just how much I love him, basically. I think he's such an energetic, exciting central midfielder. He can play in the attacking positions. He's just full of life. When he joined uh, Ajax, he was just full of energy. He was full of talent. And you could just see just how good he's going to be. Sadly, he did pick up an injury in the Champions League group stage against Liverpool, which has meant that his uh, sort of progression this season has been halted. He was out for three months, and uh, yeah, you're really starting to see him sort of come back into the team now, seeing just how much we missed his creativity and his sort of energy. As I say, I do love his energy, and I will keep repeating it. Mohamed Kudos is 100% a player that you need to keep an eye out on. If you don't know much about Ajax, then I highly recommend that you watch videos on him on YouTube. I'll put a couple of clips of my favourite bits of him this season. But a player that we signed from Norseland in uh, Denmark, uh, a Ghanaian, I do love Ghana as well. But Mohamed Kudos is up there as one of the best players at Ajax at the moment. And now coming to the penultimate player is a that way, I should probably know. Argentinian, everyone should love him. I love him. Ajax fans love him. It's the warrior, Lissandro Martinez. Come on now. Lissandro Martinez has been a warrior. So many people on Twitter that I saw were just calling for him to start at the start of the season. He uh, got criticised a little bit at the beginning, but after being out and sort of put on the bench for so long by Eric Ten Hag. He's come back into the team since the turn of the year and he's been unbelievable. I genuinely don't think that we would have beaten Lille in the uh, round of 32 of the Europa League had it not been for him. I know he did give away a penalty, but that was probably the only thing he did wrong in the two games. He was just on fire, on smoke, as they say. He was so, so good. I love him. I just There's so many young players here that I love. This is genuinely almost as good as a team as what we had when we reached the uh, Champions League semi-final. There's so many good players. We've signed so well uh, and I believe that uh, Lissandro Martinez is the sort of focal point of our team at the moment. It's so weird that he started the season on the bench and not really playing. Again, like Timber, just behind Blind and Dali and, Dali and Pierre Scherz in in defence and now he's become one of the first names on the team sheet. Him and Edson Alvarez, I won't be talking too much about Edson Alvarez in this video, but two players who didn't really uh, feature too much at the start of the season. Uh, but they're showing their versatility. They're both really good as the sort of holding midfield players, the number six, but also at, in defence. But what we've seen now is with Edson Alvarez playing as the number six and Martinez playing in defence, it's just a formidable partnership. You've got two Warriors just controlling the sort of defensive areas and just giving opponents absolutely no chance on the ball. And Martinez, I love him. You see his passion week in, week out. Europa League nights, you see what it means to him. And yeah, hopefully he will be one of the focal points to get us to the Europa League final and help us win our first European trophy in a long, long time. And lastly, I think anyone clicking on this video knows that this name is going to be in here. He's been absolutely superb. 18 years old it is the one, the only Ryan Gravenbeck. Now, Ryan Gravenbeck has been absolutely incredible. He's got that sort of Paul Pogba sort of factor about him. He's tall, he's classy. I think every Ajax fan again is in love with him because he's just been, for an 18 year old, to play the way that he's been playing both in Europe uh, and in the league in the Champions League especially, um, has really made a name for himself uh, with his composure, his uh, defensive attributes, but also his ability going forward. He's one of those players that you forget that he's playing, not because he's not doing anything, but because he's doing all the dirty work sometimes. He's doing a lot of the difficult things that just don't get mentioned half the time. He's such a good player to watch. He's such a comfortable player on the ball. Every time he's on the pitch, you just feel comfortable as an Ajax fan. And it's really weird to have that trust in a player who's only 18 years old, who's pretty much making his first real sort of uh, full campaign as an Ajax first team player. And he's just been incredible. I know he's linked every day with a new club uh, around Europe. And I think it really says a lot about his qualities. It says a lot about how good he is that teams like, I believe Man City are after him. Barcelona have probably been linked with him with Komen at the helm there. Uh, Juve after him as well and it is a real shame obviously with the sort of culture that 
as soon as a player gets to a certain level that they do tend to leave the club. But Ryan Gravenberg, without doubt, is probably one of the best talents to come out of the club in the last 10, 15 years. With him, Frankie de Jong in the middle, that would have been the absolute dream. One day I'm going to have to make a video on my favourite uh, sort of Ajax team of all time. I've only really been an Ajax fan for about 10 years, so it would be kind of limited. But it, it, yeah, I mean, the dream of having Gravenberg, de, uh, Frankie de Jong and Donny van der Beek would be incredible. But with nothing else to say, I should just say that um, Gravenberg has been... I'd probably say he's probably been the best player for us this season, him or Tadic. They've just been ever-present, been so consistent. And like I say, for an 18-year-old to play the way he's been playing, not just in the Eredivisie where people criticise the level of that for some reason, but also in the Champions League, the Europa League, he's been absolutely... So he's been so crucial for us. I love him, like I say. I can't, I can't sort of stress how much I love him. For any fans wanting to look at this video, video to see... Uh, you know whether he'd be a good fit for your club I can 100% say he'd be a good fit for any club like I say the way he is on the ball his composure his technical ability is so good as well as uh, the sort of midfielder being able to play going forward and in defence is so crucial and yeah Ryan Gravenberg is 100% one of the best players at Ajax at the moment not just as a young player but all together throughout the entire squad and they are my five best young players at Ajax at the moment of course as always be sure to let me know what you think I always love to hear your opinions whether you think that maybe I've missed a few players did Alvarez should Alvarez been in there maybe uh, Devin Wrench as well Brian Brobby rip it would have been nice for him to stay but you know let me know who you think uh, should have been in my list today and your opinions be sure to like comment and subscribe as always but yeah I'll speak to you guys next week and peace out